Hi, Ems. How's it going? I'm good. How about you? How's your tea litter thing? Oh, it's good. Besides Paige. Ugh. Hey, remember when I sabotaged her on that pyramid? Yeah, I remember. It was a bit harsh. Uh, yeah, I guess. You know, Manny, sometimes you go too far. Uh, like sabotaging my friend's chances with my ex too far, or having sex with the stagehand even though he had a girlfriend too far. What? Are you f***ing kidding me? F*** her, I'm gonna f*** her up. Uh. that bitch up. So this is going to be another Degrassi video. Um, my first video was called How Degrassi Slut Shamed Manny. It's basically talking about how Manny was exploring her sexuality and how the show excessively punished her for it. Basically, if you haven't seen it, it's over here in the corner. You can click on it, enjoy yourself, whatever. The comments I made from that video talked a lot about how Emma wasn't a good friend to Manny. And I started thinking, I'm like, wait, hold up. Was Emma really a shitty friend to Manny? Because... You know, when I initially watched the series, you know, I was a kid. I really didn't pick up on a lot of themes and stuff like that. But, you know, over the years, we watched it and we watched it again. And recently, my very recent rewatch, you know, we're all in quarantine zone. What else am I going to do? I've seen that. I've seen a lot of problematic behavior from both of the girls. Like how Manny could be a, a bit self-interested, maybe a little envious of Emma. And when I watched Emma, I could see how she could be very jealous of Manny, harsh, judgmental, and even fake self-righteous. But these girls had good qualities too. Emma and Manny are both outspoken. For the most part, they had each other's backs. Um, so I will analyze Manny and Emma's story arcs from season one to season four, seeing how they treated one another. Now trying to answer the question, is Emma a good friend to Manny and vice versa? So a little backstory on Degrassi, if you didn't know this already. Degrassi was like a show from the 80s. They had like Degrassi Junior High and then Degrassi High. And I think even before Junior High, they had Degrassi Street, which is in the late 70s or something. I'm, I'm not, I'm, it's all kind of fuzzy, but whatever. All that to say is that they started Degrassi The Next Generation was um, because obviously they decided that a new generation in the early 2000s should have a show to watch that caters to them and their interests. Also saying that um, the protagonist of the show was supposed to be Emma Nelson because she was the daughter of Spike. And if you didn't know, Spike was a character in junior high and also Degrassi High. She was a teen mom. And so, you know, they just thought it was a great tie-in to bring the old characters along with the new where they are now, which I think is fucking great. Um, so we have a little introduction to Emma. Emma is intelligent. She's socially aware. She's blonde. Um, she's best friends with Manny and has been best friends with Manny since they were babies. In the show, Emma is seen a lot of the times protesting for her cause and being an environmentalist. We see a lot of her characteristics throughout the series. One of the biggest is how outspoken she is. And y'all, like, I was surprised. When I rewatched the series from season one, and it's been a long time, I was surprised at how Emma constantly stood up for herself. She was no joke. She was just like her mom, too. And she talked about her period. Um, she jumped into fights, you know, when um, Sean and, uh, got into the fight with Jimmy. She jumped right into that. Um, so, yeah, Emma, Emma's a tough one. In relation to Manny, Emma has been very outspoken with her, too, especially when she's acting wrong. For instance, we see Emma call Manny out on a lot of her BS. Uh, for example, in season three, when Manny was experimenting with her new look, uh, Emma calls her out for, like, getting a new attitude and acting all brand new. Um, we also see, like, um, Emma pointing out Manny's bad behavior when she fucking left her at a rave to go hang out with Craig in Emma's bed. They were making out in Emma's bed. Manny and Craig were making out in Emma's bed. I was pissed about that, too. But even though Emma could be a little tough on Manny sometimes, she did have her back, okay? So, during the argument that Manny had with Craig about leave. the abortion, she had her girl's Craig. back. I'm like, you, you butt out. What she's doing is wrong. I agree with you, okay? If she was just some stranger, I would be furious with her, but she's my friend. And it's her choice. It's my baby. And Manny's body, what about her? I just... I just... I can't. Um... She had her back again when Manny went on her first date with Craig and Emma had to cover for her. Okay, this is going to sound kind of bad, but those are the 
major instances where Emma has had Manny's back throughout season one to season four. There could be like little things here and there, like how she compliments her and her outfit or whatever, but those weren't like major scenes. But anyway, um, so yeah, we spoke about how Emma is outspoken, but her tongue can turn very sharp. And in regards to Manny, Emma can be kind of ruthless, like go complete savage on this bitch. Anyways, like for instance, like during the whole Emma J dalliance thing, when Manny was trying to get her head straight, like confronted her about it. She Jen. went for the jugular and was like, well, at least I'm not, at least I'm not pregnant. No, at least I'm not getting pregnant. So, and I was just like, Emma, what the hell? Get out of it? And Manny was really like, yo, I'm trying to help you out. But, no, you know, Emma was stupid. not in the right headspace no, and, you know, decided to go all savage and, like, walked off. And I was like, damn, girl, really, right? Emma? Should you really be preaching to anyone about that? We're not having real sex. It's pretty close. But I'm not getting pregnant. Um, she judged the crap out of Manny when she decided to join Power Squad. They were like in seventh grade and she wanted to join the cool kids in season one and Emma dumped all over her dreams. So yeah, those are just like a couple of instances where Emma was acting real foul. But here's one last instance. You know how I reference how she could be a, like fake self-righteous? Well, this is why I say that. In that same episode where Manny wanted to join the Power Squad... Um, Emma got in her feelings because she thought that Manny was going to dump her for Paige's new crew. So she got in her feelings and decided to write a whole article talking some shit about Power Squad and cheerleading and how bad it is. And she was using the article as a guise to mask her own feelings of like abandonment and jealousy. And it was foul too. Like Look what your little friend wrote. Nice, Emma. So I'm a bimbo too. And then, and this is an honorable mention, it has nothing really to do with Manny, but this is just, you know, one of the shady ways Emma moves. She also used this tactic on Rick, depressing. started hazing Rick, and she used this guise of like domestic Those violence campaign, oh, and she launched this whole campaign just so she can haze Rick, so she can be in the good graces of Paige. Okay, so now we're done with Emma. Um, Actually, no, we're not. <laughs> I lied. We're not done with Emma. Um, I talked about how Emma was jealous of Manny. Let me show you some instances of that too. Um, so I don't know if y'all remember, but in season two, Manny and Emma decided to crash the senior Craig! dance. Um, this oh is the eighth grade dance, yeah. not like the real high school hey, look, senior dance. Girls. Uh, so they crashed the dance you and Craig let them in. And at this moment in time, they both had a crush on Craig and Manny was totally hyping Emma up. Like, oh my gosh, girl, like he'd like you, he'd like you. Turns out he liked Manny and decided to pick her and asked her for a dance. Emma was devastated. Went home crying. Swell. Remember? <laughs> oh, great. Great. Yeah. So, um, Manny, you want to dance? Me? Yeah. I'll, I'll stand here. And also in season three, she wasn't all about Manny's new look in season three. Like I could tell that at first Emma was hyping Manny up like, oh my gosh, yeah, girl, you look good. But then Manny started getting all this attention. And I know, I know Emma called Manny out because of her new attitude and stuff like that. But I swear to God, Emma was a bit jealous of Manny too in that instance because she kept getting all the attention, especially from the guys. Like even though she was with Sean at this moment in time, like it can't be easy being a friend to someone who constantly is getting all the attention. Like in a way, I do feel for Emma. Like sometimes she ain't, she's not, you know, moving right. She's moving like real shady sometimes, but it must be hard to be friends with someone who is, you know, very pretty. All the guys want her. And let me just tell you something, Craig wasn't the only guy who dissed Emma for Manny, okay? That's gonna happen again. Yeah, so it can't be easy being friends with someone like that. In conclusion, I think these two are good for each other. They're very similar to one another. I don't think that Emma is a bad friend to Manny. I just think that she had she had a lot of bad moments being a good friend to Manny. Like, And if you feel any different, please comment down below and thanks for watching.